this is our guest house room in Puerto Varas. That's the door. That's the lock for when we're out and about. A little mirror, a very tiny mirror. A few items, camera gear, backpack, big ass window. That's the bed. Got a little lamp there and a desk. So this room's pretty sweet. Uh, I'll do another little, little uh, panoramic here. It's probably one of the biggest rooms we've ever gotten chilly. This room is 35,000 pesos, which is about 65 Canadian a night dish. 35,000 pesos? Yeah. Per night? Yeah. No, it's 25. Really? Yes. Oh my God, we're only paying 25,000 pesos a night? Even better, that's like 44, 45, maybe even less Canadian dollars a night. Mm -hmm. And you can stay here in this room that's built for a cyclops. Hola from Chile. Today we're doing a bit of a hike. It's a four hour hike, nothing too strenuous. What's the name of the hike? Oh, which one? Paso de Solación. Yes. In the Vicente Perez Rosales National Park. I think that's the name. <laughs> I have to get Isabel to say it because there's no way I could say that in Spanish. I don't so. think you can hear me though. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. We're recording. Vicente Perez Rosales. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's the one. Sounds correct. Uh, we took a small bus the from. The wrong one. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're walking now. From uh, Puerto Varas, we took a small bus. Uh, we got on this bus at eight thirty, but apparently we believe the correct bus was at nine o'clock. That would have taken us right to the national park. However, this bus dropped us six kilometers away. Okay, we are in the national park. It's just that the bus we took it leaves you at the waterfalls. And then you have six kilometers more to get to another little town and you start a hike there. Yes. Um, so we decided to just walk along the road and hopefully there will be a bus coming by and we can just hop on. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, I guess, punishment for showing up too early to the bus station. <laughs> I anyway. Yeah. It's a nice day. Uh, breathe it's a it in. Bit of a breeze all these beautiful trees beautiful morning fog still waiting on that bus oh my god look how blue that water is you want to check it out let's check out this water i mean I <laughs> yeah i hope we don't miss the bus but I've, i don't think i've ever seen water this green before whoa Check this out, guys. This is incredibly turquoise water. Look at it. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen like this blue, unless it's in like a lake, but in a river. But okay, turquoise. Is it turquoise? Oh yeah. Is it? It's like super turquoise. Let's let's go take a gander, shall we? Wow. Wow. Well, guys, this is the view from the road that we should be on so we don't miss the bus, but could not pass up checking us out. Got that beautiful morning fog there. Just look, look how green that is, turquoise. Incredible, yeah. Beauty. All right, we should really hunt for this bus, though. All oh, those buses. Stop. Ayudanos! <laughs> Why are you not stopping? <laughs> ah! Oh, a stopped for us. Thank God. All right. Let's get to this park. All right, this is what the start of the trail looks like. Just a little path. Looks like it's for Right on ATV. Looks like they might use an ATV for this. <clears throat> yeah. 
four-wheeler, that type of thing. And we just came from down that way. So, we will walk this little bushy trail. And hopefully, uh, we can only, well, <clears throat> unfortunately we can only do half of the trail because... Time. Yeah, we don't have enough time and the last bus leaves at 6 p.m. There's no way we can do the whole thing. But... Yeah, this whole thing is 12 k one way. Yeah. But it's mostly flat, I think. There's not much. No, he said he goes up to 1700. That's what he said, right? Yeah. Um, not too bad. Anyway, I hope even if we do half of the thing, we can get some epic shots, maybe some good photos. And I can give you guys an idea what this trail is like if you ever decide to come hiking in this part of Chile. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> we're about at the halfway point of this uh, little hike we're doing today. And check out the erosion here. Whoosh. All the way to the lake. Yeah, unfortunately, you guys can't see the volcano. It's right there. It keeps getting covered. It was open for a little while, and then uh, clouds came in again. But you can yes. hike that up too. You can hike up there too for the low, low price of fifty dollars per person. That's what I see in the kids. Oh yeah, they charge that, and so you hike up, and then you bike that. Yep. And you pay that per day, which is not too bad. It looks pretty, uh, pretty cool. But I'm hoping once we get to our uh, six kilometer point, so we're gonna do half of this hike, and then by the time we get back, we should be able to catch the bus. Um, hopefully that opens up and I can get a photo or video of uh, Volcan Orsono. There it is, guys. It opened up a little bit. That's Volcan Orsono. Yes. Osorno. Osorno. No, Osorno. And that's some of the fog rolling in, but I hope it uh, goes away. Right? Right. Not so much though, because it gets hot. Yeah. If the clouds are nice. It's here. getting a wee bit sweaty. <laughs> All right, let's press on. Oh, we got a hawk or an eagle here. I'm not sure which. Go. I don't know about this bridge. Woo. Pretty sketchy. Free. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention we got in here for free. They didn't charge us anything. But you can see why now. <laughs> huh? We put no money into it, that's why. Los Saltos. That's the hiking trail there. And after that, we're going to go down this way. And then it loops around the lake. Right? We changed the path. Yes, we changed the path. <laughs> Halfway, we just decided, well, let's yeah. just go next to the lake. Because instead of going back and forth, this was a small loop. 7K round trip, right? I think so. Yeah, 7K, so at least we can do a little loop and then we're going to go around that lake, right? Open right on time. Yeah. Volcan Orsorno. And I got my GoPro there just doing a little time lapse for the video. Yum. Yum. Here's a shot of the lake. We just stopped here for a quick apple. 
And well, we're probably like 75% done this trail. Mm, probably. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I don't know if I can see my phone call. I think it's about about 75% done, but yeah, anyway, it's a pretty sweet view here. Can't believe how much the scenery changed. It's so green now. We just walked through there and then boom, all of a sudden we were greeted with all this lush green vegetation. How interesting. And when we started, it was all sandy, really shrubby, dry. Look, well, they even have ferns here now. Oh, that's the name. Yeah. What a weird uh, change of forest. Okay. Pressing on. Thought I heard something. Came from here. Hello? <gasps> Hello? Might be gnomes living in there. Hello? Hello? No one home. Yay! <laughs> I made it! <laughs> Go back. Okay, high five. How was your hike? Oh, we're not done yet, but we're almost there. I think. I think so too. We've been walking on this beach for a little while now, but uh, your feet sink. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> but I don't know if you guys can see, there are right where my finger is, there's a boat there. So I believe that's our trailhead where we started. I'm not even sure if this is the path. We just started, the path kind of went on to the beach. We just started following the beach and uh, I think we have to continue following the beach because if the path, if we miss the path, it's somewhere, somewhere in that thicket there. Those clouds look really cool. Yeah. All right. Pressing on to find our bus home. Mm -hmm. That's right. What a bizarre thing to find in the middle of nowhere. An eye, and we're on this beach on this lake. Been walking from kilometers down that way, and then we encounter an eye. It's like it's peering into the depths of my soul. <laughs> Isabel, you have any thoughts on the eye? <laughs> Come on, you got you got to admit. It's a weird thing to find on a beach. 